I'm so happy you're all here. I love meditation so much. It's our chance in this room today for free, meditation is always free, to give ourselves a minute to stop time, put away all the external. When you close your eyes, why do we close our eyes? We meditate because you don't have to. A meditation can happen on a walk, on a bike, in a swim. And, you know, meditation is simply when you take your mind and you focus it. Okay, take a moment, close your eyes, stop time, bow your head. I like to rock. I rock so slowly like a little bit of a child who is self-soothing. I like to bow my head and I say to those I cannot see, I acknowledge you. Thank you for holding me. Thank you for being with this group of people. We've all come together in honor of the stars, the sky, the heavens, the constellations, the energetics that exist beyond our mind. And we pray and ask for humbleness. May my mind find its seat. Imagine in a chair to the left of you, it's sitting, your mind is sitting in a seat. I want you to imagine a chair and you take your mind, I take it off my head and I put it in its seat. And I say, you're gonna to listen to Deborah's voice. There's nothing else for you to do, sit. Okay, said the mind, thank you for directing me. I bow my head and I pray. And I ask that I be humbled enough to be available to the spiritual energy that longs to make union with me, to come close to me. Whether that's in the name of God or spirit or Buddha or Christ or Muhammad, I don't care what you call her, him, the feminine energy that longs to be at one with me. That <laughs> rhymed. I invite the energy that longs to be at one with me. And I stop time. I put my attention on the sounds in the room. And I realize I'm one with all of this because with my mind in its seat, I remember this is just a dream. All the distractions and all the noise factories that exist in my mind, I ask you to be quiet. All the symptoms of my body that tend to distract me, I ask you to sit still for a moment. I embrace the sounds of life that come to me in the form of the wind, the heater, the electricity. I put the sounds of my mind aside and I say to my heart, open. I'm so in love with cyberspace, a place where we can sit next to each other and not feel any fear not even see each other's differences, but simply merge in the union of a unified field under the influence of this word called meditation. What is meditation? It's the Buddha's way that he sat underneath a tree and practiced to anchor himself in silence. To remember that this external world, while it is so compelling and stubborn and loud and distracting, nothing it has nothing on the quality of stillness that rests between the moments i put a smile on my face in honor of that which i cannot see and i say to them i know that you are beyond my mind's comprehension spirit life god energetics and yet i'm wise enough to stop time in the middle of the day in the name of meditation with an astrologer and a group of people and call forward your invitation into my existence. I call you forward, come into my existence, come into my awareness, take over my life. I ask for my soul to take over my life. And in doing so, it makes me smile because all of a sudden, all the noise and all the stories become cute. Grist for the mill, a polishing tool for me to see if I can keep my attention with my eyes closed on what matters, 
the real trick is when my eyes are open, not yet, but that's when I will practice this meditative exercise. Can I practice it here with my eyes closed and remember that you are one with me? Easier to do with my eyes closed in a group of hundreds of people saying, yes, I am a soul who wants to marry you, who wants to merge with you, who wants you to know you're doing just fine. All the judgments that you have with your eyes open and your mind active, thinking you should be different, you're not getting it right, that's not true. What's true is the mind is simply an exercise of the soul to stay awake inside this earthbound dream. But the mind is not required for your soul, nor are the judgments. Your soul is the part of you who rests with me in this moment. Take some silence and let your soul give you a hug. Your soul is so grateful to you. You've given your soul a chance to embody on earth this life. And your poor little mind has all kinds of stories and judgments. They're not true. Your soul has no stories or judgments. It's a constant invitation. Come with me. Sit with me. Let me hold you. May you all find peace in the arms of your soul who's been in love with you since your first moment of conception. So far beyond your mind's memory, we don't even need to recall it. It's beyond the understanding of the mind. Your soul has existed and has followed you around since the beginning of time. Your soul is so humbled and grateful that you took on a body this life. And while your mind thinks your story should be different and you've been a success or a failure and you've had all these dramas, it's not true. There's a place where eternal, constant love exists. Come sit with me, said your soul. I want to love you. I want to stop your noise factory. Take a deep breath in your own rhythm and hold it at the top. And breathe out truth. The truth is you are loved. You are loved. You are a little demigod in training, doing your best to wake up inside the dream. You forget you're a demigod. You forget the privilege of being embodied. You forget the privilege of having this computer in front of you. You are living a life of abundance or you wouldn't be in this room right now. There's nothing you don't have seen from the eyes of love. The deepest breath you've taken today, again, hold it at the top. Slowly bring that love. Fill up the space. The room you're in is filled now with love because your soul has got you on the back. It's holding your hands, her, his hands on your back. Your head is bowed and so is your soul. Your mind is in its seat, finally quiet. All the noise that's going on in the stars with Jupiter and Venus conjunct in Aries saying, get up. Nope, not right now, said Pisces. I'm sitting here quiet. Permission to stop time, said the meditator. I always feel like the little cat that ate the Cheshire. <laughs> the What is it? The cat that ate the mouse. Pretend that you just found the simple truth about meditation and you're like a little kid and you're smiling going, oh, you mean I am loved? Oh, I'm loved? 
I can put my mind in its seat and it's listening to me? Wow. A thought away any moment of the day is your ability to merge with your soul. A group of people in a unified field create an unbelievable energy that says, my mind is the servant to my soul. I ask it to be quiet and it obeys. I take a deep breath when I'm ready, do it in your own rhythm. And I choose calm to breathe out. May the healing come to your bodies. May the healing come to your mind. May your soul find itself intimately interwoven into your conscious breath. Every one you take is with your soul. Let's do it again. Waiting for you all this time has been your soul for you to do this meditation with me today and activate the part of you that says to your mind, sit, obey, and merge with my soul. Oh, I'm loved. I love. I'm quiet. I'm healing. My soul is totally healed. May you forgive the part of your mind that separates you and has storylines and confuses you and keeps you feeling scared or fearful or worried or judging. May you forgive that part of your mind and say to it, and now you are under the influence of my soul. Feel the relief. In a moment, slowly, 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 you'll open your eyes. Do not change the energy. But when your eyes open, continue to feel the presence of your soul. <laughs> I'm letting it all come down, kids. Because you know why that was amazing, Crystal? Because it's true. Because just a thought away at any moment of the day is your soul waiting to marry you. Everyone in this room has the power to change their story just like that. <laughs> 